My story is just like any other story that happened because of the war which destroyed everything beautiful in my country. The war destroyed the kids' smiles, birds' tweets, and my beautiful country. Without any mercy, my husband was arrested and killed in prison after being tortured. And suddenly one day I woke up to find myself alone with my children. One of my children was taken away from me, a single lonely woman in the darkness of war. I had to walk for three days continuously with my little kids, without food or water because I was too worried about them. I didn't want them to be killed like their dad. I started a new life in a new country and I felt lost in this life and I tried to find a job so I could feed myself and my kids. And for seven years and until today, I think of my son that I left back in Syria and haven't seen since. After a long wait and with all the prayers and patience, finally I received a call from the United Nations sharing that I'd been accepted as a refugee in the UK and I felt that God was rewarding me but my happiness was incomplete because I missed my son. And when I reached here, I wasn't thinking of money or benefits. I was just looking for safety, peace and someone to help me find my son. I miss him and my heart is broken. I left him fighting alone in the war and injustice in my country. The local people accepted me and treated me very well with comforting words, but despite all of this welcoming, there was something missing. I want to see my son. I miss him a lot. Ten years now since I last saw him. And I've been trying to see him again, to touch him and smell his face, to live with him even for a few days before I die. But it seems like I will never see him again. I feel hungry when he is, cry when he's crying. I left him in a very hard situation. He's in another country now where the people aren't helping him and I'm so worried about him. I'm afraid that he will be sent back to Syria. I'm afraid that I will lose him as I lost his father because in my country there are no limits for injustice. I think of him most of my time, what he's doing, if he's eating or not. I can't sleep or even enjoy food. I'm in this situation for days and days but nothing changes. I became like a piece of rock. I'm not feeling anything anymore. I feel like I'm dead. And he is suffering a lot in that country and all of this forced me to see a psychologist. I was always crying and asking for my son, but nothing changed. I'm a lonely, weak mom who raised her kids alone and I need him to support me in this difficult journey. I wake at night and cry for hours praying for God to send someone to help me. My son was injured in the war, which caused him a permanent disability in his hand. And he was working in a good job, but now he can't continue because of his pain. And in the country where he lives, there are a lot of problems for people like him who left their country seeking safety and peace, looking for simple things like a small meal or a place to sleep. But like in any country, Anyone who's a stranger and living alone suffers from homesickness and being away from his family, his mother and his siblings. I cry every day, and my kids do too. Their psychological and emotional state is very bad, like mine. I'm a mum who hasn't seen her son for ten years, and I wish I could hug him, even once. I miss him a lot. I wish I could watch him grow in front of my eyes. This damned war. It changed our life path to another direction. Always feel like I need him. I'm so tired in this life. Like any mum without her son, I just keep praying for my Lord to see him. His siblings pray too, just to see him walking through the door. I'm trying to live normally here and pretend to be strong in front of my kids. I stay in my room for days and days without seeing anyone or eating a good meal. And I don't know what to say or do. I didn't come here to buy a car or collect money or for tourism. I have only one simple request. I want to see my son and to feel that he's safe like me in this country. I'm always worried that he will be sent back to Syria like other people and be killed. That is how you
carry me. Carry me.